Where do you sort of find your passion in music and where does like sort of like where it stemmed from and sort of what got you into it? Where do you sort of put your heart into it the most? Um, I've been listening to music like since I was a kid. My mom, she was just waiting around with music just mm -hmm. and when I was younger I, I was in like concert band and shit and concert choir, so like I just I was just always into it and then once it got I remember I used to like write my own music, like try to write my own raps and shit in uh like second grade, third grade. Mm -hmm. And then once I started getting older, it was just like around like 2005, I was mean like like seven ish. Chris Brown started popping. I was just big on Chris Brown, like like damn, like he's actually killing. So I was just like big on like singing a bunch of that shit. Uh, and he's one of my favorite, like biggest influences, just because like the way he expresses himself. Like I did just like just watch him. I basically watched him since he was like a kid, you know. Mm -hmm. And like he went like just seeing like all the different like changes he done went through his whole life and then like just seeing how he just expresses his music and like the singing, the dancing, like the rapping. Mm -hmm. Like he's, a, he's like nice. a real talented. Like he like likes to paint and shit. Like the way like he just showed me like this that's another way that you can like there's so many ways you can just like express yourself. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, like, you I know. think a lot of people need that outlet right. in their life. Right. Like everybody has that thing. Like sometimes it just takes that time to find it, and then I just went through like different things in my life that was just like just kept leaning me more and more towards the music, and then like mm -hmm. so I had a friend who was like rapping, and he was actually like dropping shit on SoundCloud and shit. I'm mm -hmm. like, man, I'm like, like I want to start to get in that shit. I used to just like write shit down on paper and then like record it on my phone mm -hmm. in like high school, and I used to be like walking around school like, yo, you guys want to hear my raps? You guys want to hear my raps? Like mm -hmm. I'll email it to you. I'll email it to you. So I was just like email it to like. Mm -hmm. That's like a couple of my friends and yeah. kind of shit. And then uh, it got to a point where I'm like, like seeing year rolled around, I'm like, damn, I really want to do this shit. And he was still like dropping his shit. So I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm like, man, like, like, what's up? Like, like I'm really trying to get in the studio. Get me in the studio. Mm -hmm. Finally, he got me in the studio this one time. We did one song and then we dropped that. And it was just like, who was yeah, it? Uh, Damani, his name is uh, OG Ville. Okay, okay. All right, so like, we grew okay, up, we, we played football true. together when we were younger and shit. And like, that was a, was that? Song was that gang or something? Like that? Was that called? Um, FFG. That's what we called yeah, it. Okay. All right. right. Yeah, I remember. I remember looking through the catalog and I remember that. So yeah. 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 That's my homie right there. Like so. Then we like we got to a point where like we like once we dropped that one and I'm like, okay, like yeah, we fuck with this shit. Mm -hmm. So he was like, all right. He was like, all right. He can like you can. Switch. We've always been like buddy for, but he never really like. I mean, he was thinking I could really rap for. Like he never yeah. really knew for. Cause I never really showed him right. I never really showed him like, look, I can I can really do it. But then finally he got me in the studio and we did it. Nice. And then like we went back like a couple weeks later and made like two more songs. Mm -hmm. And then for those two, I'm like, like yeah, like I fuck with this shit happy. And then I went back one more time. And this first time, this was only like my fourth time ever in a studio. I went three times with Ville. And then my fourth time ever, I, I don't know if you know Train, Train Dojo. Uh -huh. Yeah. I linked up with Train and uh. And we were just sitting there, like, we were, he was, I remember he was recording, we just had, like, a basic setup and shit. We were just, you know, just still going through the motions and mm -hmm. shit. He knew, like, a good amount of what he was doing, but, mm -hmm. like, you know, he was still trying to jumpstart. We were just, I mean, in there grinding, got some songs done. Mm -hmm. And I'm, in, I, in this one song, I think that one was called Game. Okay. That was only, like, my fourth song, like, studio song okay. ever. And I'm just like, yeah, I really fuck with how this shit sounds. Like, like I think, like. I should just keep on doing this shit. Mm -hmm. Like I really nice. this shit. Ever since then, ever since then, right. it's been consistent. Like, and then, like ever since then, it's just been like just different shit. That's just like, like make like I didn't see how far he came from just right there when that was only my fourth time in the studio ever. And like, and you saw see, he had a little bit more experience right, too. Right, and so. to see how far he's come now, and then just to see like the progress over time, like I just kept seeing like, oh yeah, the only way is up. Like I just keep mm -hmm. getting better at this shit. Like. We keep getting more plays like why not just keep going hard with it absolutely and then there's just like there's different motives behind me. like i want to be blessed enough to where i can bless others you know mm -hmm. there's like there's like different reasons why I like like i had like different like things just push me in this direction and like yeah. like the music is like is what it's for me yeah and i really i that's a really noble mission that's a noble right. thing i really want to talk about that and sort of how you want to give back to others and sort of like your end goal with that in your music and sort of like your mission a little bit I mean, there's a, like a bunch of different ways, whether it's like 
just because I know I had like some hard times, but I know there's tons of people who may have had it like 10 times harder than me, you know? So you just never know what people are going through. And there's like many different ways you can bless everybody, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, that's why every day I try to just be the best I can be because I don't want to like get too much in like talking, you know? But mm-hmm. it's just like, it's like, I just went through a lot of things that just made me realize like the more good I do and the more I try to do good and, and bless other people and do the right thing, like the more good comes back to you. Absolutely, man. Good karma comes right. around. Right.